Hey guys, this is Tyler with Tyler Dragon Tarot. Thank you for being here. Thank you for the likes, subscribes, the comments, all that great stuff. I really appreciate it. Um, I just realized that I haven't done a cost video this week, and I think you guys are enjoying it. I kind of enjoy doing it too. It's a little bit different. Um, so I'm gonna be doing my cuss signs today. Um, oh, um, you know I said this in the other videos, so why not this one too? Um, if you guys leave comments, say your sign, cuss, whatever, um, and. If I'm going to make it a video, I'll make the topic a general reading, but um, if you guys want to be like, hey, I, I don't know, just as an example, I did one earlier that was like, I did two earlier. One was like, someone said, hey, Leo dealing with third party, um, will you choose me? So I did a video on that. Um, another was... Um, there was two Aries, one just wanted a general love reading, one was dealing with an Aquarian, so I kind of did two readings in that. So you kind of get the idea. Like, you can take, like, your personal curiosities and I'll, I'll make it a general reading where hopefully it'll apply to more because, hell, that um, general love reading one uh, Aries wanted, she ended up watching the whole thing because um, she... Uh, she was dealing with Aquarius. So, um, I just thought, man, yeah, hopefully I don't mind, but they're public comments, so, um, so, yeah. Hmm. If you guys don't want me to share stuff like that, let me know in the comments if you comment. But, like, because I was shouting out, like, names and stuff, thought I'd just throw that out there, too. Because I don't want to upset anyone. I'm just trying to share love here. Um, so anyway, let's get to my cuss, right? So I'm just going on my little spiel. So first off, who, who's first? Pisces Aries cuss. I think I actually fall on that cuss. I'm the 24th. And I think I'm mainly Aries. But I got a little bit. I can agree a little bit with some of the Pisces. But, you know, we got a little bit of everything in us. But, let's say here. Hmm. I haven't decided what spread I want to do. I was going to try that, but I'm kind of feeling... Do I want this spread? No. I got tower spread in my head. You want the tower spread? Everyone wants the tower spread? Okay, I got the tower spread stuck in my head. We're going to do tower spread. Sorry, I should have been more organized. I mean, hell, we're three minutes in now. Um, thank you for waiting this long, guys. Um, hopefully you want the tower spread because I was just like, I was going to do my own spread I was working on, but tower spread's really yelling at me. So let me see here. Thank you for the understanding because you're the first sign that so you're going to see this shit. I'll put descriptions for uh, everyone else, but, you know, Pisces Aries, <laughs> cool guys, okay, so tower spread, so first in the spread is what changed, so what in the situation changed, kind of a heavy thing, you know, this could be about anything, but I'm kind of feeling a sadness out, out of this, so this might have been an end of something, and you're kind of feeling sad about it, I I don't know. Let's see. What changed? Just won't reckon this one. Oh, there we go. The lovers at feast here. What changed? Conscious, aware, of eating. Yeah, you you say that. I'm I'm not gonna ignore that. I I feel like this is saying okay. There's cups here. There's food. You're partaking in eating, and there's a lot of orange fiery color in this and there's a little bit of romance so it's like the feelings change the romance change um and like it's almost like one person's faded like they're not really there in this card 
So it's just like, you got to have you, you know, you got to take care of you. You got to worry about what you got and you love you. So you're going to take care of you. That's that Aries in you because Aries represents the first house, not in everyone because your ascendant is the first house, but Aries is the house of yourself. Man, I really got to learn the rest of them because like, I know that because I'm an Aries. Like I said, Aries, Pisces, Cusp. Or probably, but anyway, back to the reading. So, what changed is I feel like now there's a distance in this, whatever this relationship is, where, and it's just like, I feel like you still got the strength by yourself, but <laughs> yeah, pure male energy. Like, there's only one here, there's not male and female. And, And I just felt like, well, what if you're gay? I, I literally heard that question in my head. It's not what I meant. You're wrong. Like, but you got you. And even if you're a female, you could. Air, Aries is a masculine sign. And there's nothing wrong with having masculine energy if you're a female. Um, with my Gemini rising sign, I tend to tap into feminine energy. So, um, let's see. What were, Oh my God, speaking of Gemini, I just squirreled and I forgot where I was. Okay, so, yeah, so it's like lone wolfing up here, like you're all by yourself. It's like, but it's almost healing and peaceful. Like, it's almost like, eh, it's all right, this is good too. Because it's almost like, yeah, I can give love to myself, like, you either love me or I'll love me. Like, either way, I'm going to get love. Like, uh, that's, <laughs> yeah, that's not a good approach. I ain't going to fuck it. I mean, why not? You know? That's a good approach. How to live with it. Well, hell, you're living with it. I don't even know why. I don't, I don't even know if the rest of this spread really applies to you, to be honest. But how to live with it. Let's go. How do you live with it? I mean, it sounds like you're doing good. I don't even know how the rest of the spread will go. But let's see how to live with it. Yeah. Like I was saying, it's just a repeat. Love who you are. Be confident in who you are. Don't lose your sparkle. All right. So what you can learn from this change What can we learn from this change? Yeah. Attunement. A lot of red in that. Don't lose your sparkle. Don't lose your passion. But don't just... See, she's surrounded by it, but she, her eyes aren't red. She ain't seeing red. All right? She... It's almost like she's more cautious, which is a lot like the Aries rating I just did. So your Aries side might be taking more over, but, um, all right, my dogs are just biking for some reason. Anyway, um, got distracted. So it's more like, it's like you got all this passion and before you just unleash it. Now you gotta be like, okay, you on my level? You here with me? You good? Cause like, I got a ton of fucking love that I can give to somebody. Can you handle it? So, how to release emotions in a healthy way? Honestly, I, I feel like you are, but I'll draw a card. I'll draw a card. Cause you came here for a reading, right? Like, this is, this is a fucking positive reading. I usually there's a get your shit together component to mine because like I said, I'm Aries, so I'm direct, I'm blunt, like I I'm like fucking what are you doing? Get your shit together. But this is good job. This is a 
Well, what are you here for? <laughs> Pretty much. You just want a pat on the back? I'm giving you a pat on the back. You're doing good. You're doing good. All right. You just need a pat on the back. You're getting a pat on the back. So, how to release emotions in a healthy way. I mean, I feel like that's good advice if you didn't already have that in your head. Um, the whole, don't be a little more cautious about releasing the passion next time. But how to release emotions in a healthy way. Whole again. So, I feel like this is talking about loving yourself and being that confident, like, You took, you shifted the love from you to someone else, and since they didn't return it to you, you, you left, you were left a little empty. And now that you get to return the love back to you, and you're feeling love, um, you're feeling like you again. You're feeling good. There's a balance in this. Like a, there's a blue and a red, and it's passion and emotion. And but it reminds me of the yin yang symbol, and it's just like you're good again. You're good again. And how to release emotions in a healthy way? Well, <laughs> just finding the balance, really. But honestly, I kind of feel like you're doing it. Like, you're good. <laughs> I feel like this is more of a pat on the back than anything else. All right. Awesome. Thank you guys for being here. Okay. Let's go to Aries Taurus. Let's see. And shuffle a little bit. Aries Stories, thank you guys for being here. Um, hopefully you guys are enjoying this uh, cuss reading, because I kind of like doing it. Uh, see that I get some uh, views on it, some likes. So I'll keep doing it. I really enjoy comments. I, um, you know, if you guys want to comment, I'd Love to see your comments. But, yeah, you know, no pressure. <laughs> That's just me being a brat. Anyway, so we're doing a tower spread. Um, so what changed, Taurus? Oh, I feel exhausted. Kind of excited. Exhausted and excited. All right, let's just pull the car. Come on. What does this mean and what changed you? Okay, I'm just here. I'm really focusing on the cracks in there. I know there's a little bit of a glare, so I don't know if you can see it in the background. But, um, so I'm just, because they're kind of light. And it's a white card anyway, so it, with that glare, it's hard to see detail. But um, there's cracks in this little background thing. And it's just like, what changed and it's like finally mending finally repairing finally um healing all these cracks that have been there forever and the the thing of this is be joyful so i feel like you with this being what changed you've been open for too long and this is saying, like, it's okay to be a little guarded. Know who to let in. And it's just, with that Aries Taurus, you know, Aries can be a little too, like, hey, guys, anyone can come. Like, come on in. I love everyone in here. And, and you, you're kind of an innocent until proven guilty. And then it's just, so if you got your Aries side going on that, like, you might end up hurt. <laughs> So now you're going to be a little guarded and be like, okay, you good? Okay, I'm like, let's see all these cracks going on here. So how to live with this and move, how to live with it and move on. God, this one's also positive. Like, it's just a knock on the door. They need an invitation first. Respect boundaries. There needs to be respect of boundaries. However, that means to you, are you not respecting boundaries or are you letting people not respect your boundaries? Are you not putting boundaries up? Um, that's how you live with it and move on. You need to be more, 
You either need to make sure your boundaries are respected or you need to respect the boundaries. Don't just go breaking down the doors, knock first. Or don't let people just break down your doors and just, like, like it's almost like they broke down the door and then they expect you to be cool with it. Like, what the fuck are you freaking out for? Like, <laughs> Like, no, it's not okay. It's really not. You're not crazy for thinking it's not okay. Okay. You want to stay out. Are you... Yeah, what can be learned from this change? You are a peaceful being. <laughs> I'm pretty sure both signs are stubborn. With Aries, you, you can have a temper. You can, you know... I'm pretty sure Taurus has a temper too, but I, I'm just hearing like tap into that Taurus side and get grounded right now. It's cool to be Aries and be passionate and, you know, be driven. I, Taurus is driven too. Um, I, well, I just think of fire signs like fire, but, you know, earth signs can be driven too. It's not, it's not anything like that, but you got both and they're, they're both very good signs. Um, hell, I mean, you got a cardinal and a fixed, so, like, <laughs> tap into your um, cardinal to start shit. Tap into your uh, uh, your fix to keep doing the work. <laughs> you know? So, sound like a hard worker. Just find your balance, get grounded. Uh, I, I just have this sense of, like, you just don't know where you are or you haven't known where you are. You've been, people have been, like, gaslighting you. I'm hearing gaslighting. So just, like, making you second-guess yourself pretty much is the, if you don't know what it is. Um, it, there's more to it, but pretty much you're always second guessing yourself and people feed into that um take advantage of that so how to release these emotions in a healthy way your ancient wisdom is awakening like i said get grounded the there's reds in here for your root chakra the blues use your voice that's a throat chakra right there use your voice and I just, your ancient wisdom is, why are you letting people second guess yourself? Why are you letting them get to you? You know when they're bullshitting you. You know. Your gut says, what the fuck are they doing? And they're like, man, you're just crazy. What are you talking about? And you're like, nah, I got something going on. But then you let them talk you out of it. No, you fucking know. You know. Don't let them talk you out of it. You know. And you've been right every fucking time, haven't you? You've been right every fucking time. Excuse my language, but I feel like you need this. You've been right every fucking time, haven't you? Quit letting them talk you out of what you know. Okay? All right. Thank you guys for watching. We're moving on to the next time. Taurus, Gemini. Pretty much 19 minutes. Okay. Taurus, Gemini. Thank you guys for being here. Uh, appreciate all the likes, comments, subscribes, all that wonderful stuff. Um, I'm going to shuffle that in a weird way. Different deck. Okay, sorry. Excuse my pendulum if you're weirded up like that, but dragon deck. Yeah. Dragon deck's calling to me. Thank you for your help. All right. All right, guys, if you want to be used, you got to shuffle. There you go. Mm. So we're doing a tower spread. So what changed with, who am I doing? Gemini, Taurus. Taurus, Gemini. My 
Uh, two sided bulls. <laughs> two headed bulls. The scary thought. <laughs> All right. Two headed bulls. Let's see. What changed? What changed? Mm. Queen of Cups. The offer changed. Who who has the right to your love changes. Who you are offering those emotions to because somebody is draining you and you're like, okay, my cup is precious, all right? My emotions are precious and you are draining it. You're overusing it. Like, I don't even have time to replenish it. So unless you're going to put back into it, that's enough. How to live with it and move on. Man, some of these, like, I keep talking from the first card, and I'm like, well, I kind of already said that. But, you know, let's draw another card. How to live with it and move on. What's up? How to live with it and move on. Know you're better than that. Exactly what I was saying. And know that you are climbing the ladder. Don't let obstacles get in your way. Don't let obstacles get in your way. And don't look back. Don't look back. Because you want to keep going higher, right? You want to keep getting better. You don't want to regress. You want to progress. So, what can be learned from this change? You don't always get a fly. Sometimes you need to get grounded. And look, yeah, it's like you're struggling here. You're sh you're pouting. You're like, I can't get out of this. And you're like, you're forgetting you have legs because you're so used to flying. You're so used to flying, you forgot you got legs here. And you can't fly out of this. So calm down. Get grounded. Touch that ground. Touch that ground. You can walk out of it. All right? You can walk out of that shit. And then you can fly again once you're clear to take off. Okay? But you need to calm down. You, you need to get your head on straight. Really. How to release emotions in a healthy way. I'm just here to avoid confrontation. Like, you don't have to be scared of it, but don't go looking for a fight. Because you're fucking drained right now, and you just don't have the energy to keep going for these fights. And it's just like, mm, I'm done. Leave me alone. Like, boundaries. I don't know why boundaries pop in my head, but boundaries. All right. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed that. So let's move on to the next cup. Gemini Cancer. What time are we at? 23.30 pretty much. Oh shit. That was a little further. <sighs> Gemini Cancer. We're doing, uh, we're doing a tower spread for you guys. Thank you guys for being here. Thank you for any likes, comments, anything like that. So let's see. Get in the energy. Come on. Help me out here. Gemini Cancer. Ooh, heavy heart. Okay. Got in the energy. Kind of sad energy. Heavy heart here. So. Heavy heart. Why you got a heavy heart? What changed? Yeah, my car keeps spinning. Not what's changed. What changed? What changed? It's what sucks about having heavy hands. Too much change because you got all these damn cards popping out of one. Too much. <laughs> Everything changed. Can we get specific? You thought you had everything you desired. You thought you had something special here. But you just had some toxicity. Uh, I... Parmage is like, but you know, you gotta learn how to clear up shit up. Some of that might be on you. Toxicity is a two-way street. 
know? Uh, you know, I don't know every toxic situation, but um, it might not always be a two-way street, but, you know, eh, you know, you're, you want, just because someone's toxic for you doesn't mean you're not toxic for them, is what I mean by that. For toxicity goes both ways. If you guys just aren't meshing together, you're not meshing together. If you're not working together, if you're not communicating, if you're not doing things, if you guys just even with, even if you're communicating, doing everything you're supposed to and you still just can't work right, still toxic. Okay. Thought have, you thought you had everything you wanted, but it ended up toxic. Jump out of cancer, right? So, shit. How to live with it and move on. I feel like it's... Find your balance, because your Ace of Cups is coming, but you need to dump off all that dead weight there. All the things you don't need. All the things you're holding on to that you don't need to hold on to. The negative emotions, the anxieties of the past. All the things, all the hurt, the pain that you need to heal, because you got something good coming. You got something good coming, so heal. Alright? Because you don't want to bring the toxicity back. You don't. So... Take the time to heal because you got something great coming. That Ace of Cups, you got something great coming. So take the time to heal. What can be learned from this change? What can be learned from this change? Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. Okay, guys, please, one at a time. Y'all are, of course, it's part of Gemini. You're really talkative. <laughs> and please, just know, I'm Gemini rising, so I feel like I can say that. I am a very talkative person. <laughs> what chain, what can we learn from this change? Sometimes when you're wishing on stars here, or you think you're getting what you want, you're still, you're just draining yourself and you're not remembering to fill your cup here. You're not remembering to take care of your emotions when it just seems like everything's going right. You, you're just so in the moment and so like checking off the list that you might not be paying attention to like how drained you are, how, how much, like, it may sound like the list, but I just heard false prophet. It might be a false prophet, okay? As hard as that is, you gotta, you gotta take care of yourself, and you gotta pay, if it, you gotta make sure it feels right, all right? And if they say something that sounds weird, if it's, you know, if something doesn't feel right, you know, water signs tend to be intuitive. That tends to be a tendency. You're not the only signs that are uh, intuitive, but water signs have a tendency to be intuitive. And you're, and I'm talking to Gemini Cancer Cups. Cancer is the cardinal of the water signs. God damn it. Yeah. You're the starter of the intuition. <laughs> oh, goodness. So, anyway, um, I keep bending my cards. I, poor dragon deck. They're getting so beat up, me and my damn heavy hands. Okay, so, anyway, so how to release emotions in a healthy way. You got to figure out what you want and what you don't want. Because you got both in your life right now and it's too fucking much. 
It's too fucking much for you right now. You got to see him. He's got a fucking headache. He don't know what to do. He is overcome by anxiety. And it's because he's got things he want and things he don't want. Tens mean completion. They Tens are times of completion. That's good or bad. Drop the things you don't need in your life. It's time. I'm just here to move on. There are things you need to move on for from because if they're not if they're just causing you so much misery that you're in a constant state of panic, do you need them in your life? Are you chill without them in your life? Because no matter how much temporary happiness they bring you, how much happiness you think they bring you, if you are constantly fucking panicking, if you are just panicking, just like oh my god. Ah! If they are constantly putting you in a state of panic, do you really need it? All right? Think about it. What are they doing for you? If if you're in that place, what are they doing for you that makes you want to stay? What is it about it that actually keeps you staying even though you're constantly panicking? And I feel like this is like a, and you haven't been panicking before, but for some reason they do, yet you stay. So why the fuck are you saying? What is it about them that makes you stay? Okay, think about it. All right, so next we're going to go to Cancer Leo. Uh, Cancer Leo. Cancer Leo, thank you guys for being here. Uh, Oh, my gosh. Appreciate y'all so much. Hopefully you guys are enjoying this cusp reading. Um, I've been doing it for a few weeks. Seems like I get views. Okay, so we're doing tower spread. So that's first card, Philly. What changed? Oh shit! What changed? And you got the death card. <laughs> well, that is not very clear at all, is it? <laughs> well, okay. So I, I just, I, for those of you who haven't been watching tarot long or. You don't know much about tarot cards yourself, and you haven't seen a death card yet. Death, is, it doesn't have to mean literal death, okay? Death is a transition, a transformation. It's like, okay, it can be as simple as, um, I'm not wearing those shoes anymore. That, you put a death to that. Right? You're just, you're putting a stop to it, so it's a death. It can be as little as that. It can be as big as a catastrophe. But anyway, what changed? Well, there is a fucking ending. There is. Can we clarify death? Can we clarify death? Because that's kind of vague. That's kind of vague. Both of you. Both of you. And you. Mm-hmm. False victory. You thought yeah, you, you thought you had something in the bag, you were feeling happy. You never really could quite put the swords down though, right? Yeah. You, you were still a little ready to fight. You were still a little anxious. Like, you wanted the victory, but you couldn't quite get grounded. You couldn't quite get there. You wanted you you wanted this future. You wanted this to grow, but it just didn't seem to grow. So now there's an end to it. But you close one door, and another door opens. Time runs out on one thing. Something else hatches. There's your egg. All right. So, don't lose hope. How to live with it and move on. I feel like I talked too much in that first part, because it's like, how to live with it and move on. Well, I kind of just said that shit, didn't I? But, okay. Let's draw a card, though. Let's draw a card. Page of Wands. Just saying, say how you feel. Uh, wants tend to be your desires, your passions. Say what you want. Say what you want. Say how you actually feel. Say, 
what it is that you actually desire. Be honest. Even if it's something new that you haven't desired before, let it be known. Let it be known. Why are you hiding it? <laughs> what good is that? Because you're be you're miserable not getting what you want. So what can be learned from this change? I feel like I just said. What can be learned? You got the three of swords for what can be learned for this change. Remember the good times. You see, there's bubbles. Even though this heart's bleeding and it's being stabbed by these swords, there are bubbles. So, even though this has to, there's an ending here, and it's not easy on you. It's not. It's not easy on you. It's easy to succumb to sadness, to depression, to just miserableness, to blaming yourself, to all this. Don't be afraid to remember the good times, because when you remember the good times and be like, I want more of that, I want more of that, but maybe even better and something sustainable. I just want, you know, don't succumb to the negative. I feel like this is like, still be bubbly. You're hurting, but don't lose your happiness. Don't lose your spark. Don't lose your sunshine. Because this is Cancer Leo, right? Yeah, Cancer Leo. You got the sun in you. Um, now, that Cancer part is going to feel deeply. But, Leo, you got this. You can do it, is what I'm saying. So, how to move on, I believe, is how to release the emotions in a healthy way. Ground your emotions. Eh, get grounded. And know, be careful what you're manifesting because they will. It's kind of like that speech I just gave. Just try to stay in the positive and be like, I want that but better. And like more sustainable, longer lasting, something keep me happy and I'll keep them happy. You know, something give and take, you know, just there. Sorry, I'm getting a little emotional with that. I think y'all are getting emotional. <laughs> um, but stay in that because you are manifesting. And that's kind of what I was getting at last time with this card. This Ten of Coins here reassures it. See, there's spirit and then it comes to life. You're manifesting it. It'll take a little bit to get it because you know, spirit doesn't just go, oh, you want it? Here you go. It takes a little bit, and you got to do some work. You're going to have to be happy. You're going to have to stay positive, okay? You're going to have to be cheery. You're going to have to, you can't just be depressed and just sad all the time. Now, that's not to say you can't feel, let yourself feel the emotions, get through it, and all that. That's not saying that. It's just saying, don't give up hope don't give up happiness okay because you deserve happiness too all right so you're not a failure i don't know why that popped up i hope you're still looking i know i just said so like i'm moving on but you're not a failure i hope you're still there um to hear that that popped in my head and i feel like i need to tell you guys that you're not a failure okay so we're going to leo virgo now 38, 15. Oh my gosh, can't shuffle. <laughs> Leo Virgos. Uh -huh, come on. Okay. Thank you guys for being here. Um, whatever my normal spiel is. This is your tower spread. Hmm, okay. What changed? <laughs> You don't feel like yourself right now. 
you're Leo Virgo, so this is a Leo card. You're filling out a balance. You're you lost your happiness. Um, so how to live with it and move on? I feel like this is with the hermit and the four of coins here. Take time to make your next move. Take time to make a decision because you need to make a well-informed decision here. And take time. Think about what you really want because there's kind of a desperateness to be happy again. But don't succumb to that. Just go inside. Really think about what you want before you make your next move. What can be learned from this change? Uh, and sometimes but sometimes when you got something right in your face you don't see a clear solution here because this guy feels like he's trapped but there's not there's not a fence around this he can get out right there but he's just looking at this like, oh, God, I'm trapped. Y'all got me. Now he can get out. He just feels trapped. Or she. I just said he. Okay, so how to release emotions in a healthy way. Don't be scared to make a decision. So, you know, you need to... Don't just rashly make the decision, but don't be scared to make a decision. Don't be scared. Don't let the past, yeah, don't let the past scare you into stagnation, okay? You're going to be fine. You're going to find your balance again. You're going to be full of sunshine again. You're going to be okay. You will. Just take the time. Heal yourself. Figure out what you want and then go for it. Do your make your decision once you've figured out what you wanted and you've taken care of you. Okay. So next we are going to Virgo Libra. Virgo Libra. Thank you guys for being here and we are doing tower spreads in this. Uh, little thing <laughs> and this reading and this whatever I'm tired I've been doing a few readings today <sighs> my goodness okay so with the tower spread your first card is going to be what change well, let's figure out what change for you know doing Virgo Libra oh my gosh Virgo Libra. It's a Gemini in me. I have to keep a piece of paper to remember what I did or I'm on a squirrel. Four of Cups. An offer was... Someone took back an offer. No more love in this situation. Like, this can be friendship, but it's not equal anymore. Okay, so... How to live with it and move on. The world just now. With one ending becomes the new beginning. So. Just now this was meant to happen. As fucked up as that can sound. Like. When one door closes another door opens. But. You can't be trying to open the closed door. If you want to get through the next door, you're just going to be trapped in the hallway. You know what I'm saying? So, how, what's the next one? What can be learned from this change? 
Uh, I'm not used to doing spreads. I usually just do them on the fly. So I have to keep looking back at this paper. <laughs> There should be a balance in love. There should be an equal give and take. And I feel like I'm talking to you. You can't expect them to do everything for you. And if I'm not talking to you, then you can't expect, you can't do everything for them and get nothing back in return. Either way, someone's doing all the work and someone's not giving back. Is what it is. And that that can't happen in a relationship. There has to be there has to be something. Okay? There has to be something. How to release emotions in a healthy way. You got the ten of cups here. Find what makes you happy. What make what gives you fulfillment. Find your fulfillment. Hmm. This might be a positive change. How this is. Okay, if that first one resonated with you, go ahead and take it. And I'm going to do a second version of this reading because this could be what changed someone bringing in an offer. I did feel like it was someone taking out an offer, but there could be two different energies on the field here. Then, um,. With this world, it's a new beginning. What, how to live with it and move on? Well, you move into the new beginning. Um, what can be learned from this change? Well, it's actually someone who gives as much as you do. Or you have to give as much as they do. Don't just, because this is a lover's card. This is actually balanced. This is a strong connection. So don't make them do all the work. And but don't expect to be the only one doing the work, you know what I mean? So it's kind of kind of the same rating, but this one's like instead of the offer being taken away, this is an offer given. Um, how to release emotions in a healthy way? Well, you have emotional fulfillment, fulfillment. So I mean, how to release emotions in a healthy way? love. I mean, if they're giving you emotional fulfillment, give them emotional fulfillment. You know? This, don't be it. If they make you happy, make them happy, you know? Um, why wouldn't you do that? Why would you just want them to make you happy? Okay? So, Libra Scorpio. Libra Scorpio. Thank you guys for being here. Let's see what your tower is. What changed for my Libra Scorpios? What changed for my Libra Scorpios? The King of Wands. Okay, I'm going to get through the whole thing because this, that could be positive or negative. Um, how to live with it. Hmm. <laughs> That's weird. You go, okay, so what can be learned from this change? How to release emotions in a healthy way. Yeah, okay. This is kind of sensual. <laughs> but um, King of Wands here. You're getting everything you want here. What changed? You're getting what you want. You're getting what you desire. This is a positive change. Um, you're actually getting what you desire. How to live with it and how to move on? Well... Let go of the anxiety. Like, 
what changed is you are okay. So what changed is you moved into a Kings of Wand energy. How to live with it and move on. Don't go back to this Ten of Wands energy. Don't go back to the um. Oh, this is too much. I don't even know. You got what you want. You got what you desire. You got everything you need. You figured out what you wanted. You took out what you didn't. You got it. What can we learn from this change? Well, sometimes it's good to get out of your comfort zone. It's what I, I don't know why that popped in my head, but it it's good to get out of your comfort zone because that's how you got this blessing. Uh, what you would consider a blessing. How to release emotions in a healthy way. I'm sorry, but this is what popped in my head, and I'm going to say it. Lay back and take it. <laughs> Ooh, that's sexy. Sex card. I, I don't know. I've never read it that way, but that's how it was feeling in this. And it's a very passionate feeling here. Like, but I mean, you got that Scorpio in here. I'm going to leave the Scorpio, right? Yeah, Scorpio. Scorpio is a passionate card. So, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Good for you. Good for you. I feel like you're going to be enjoying this. <laughs> okay. So, anyway. Let's move on to Scorpio Sagittarius. Oh, goodness. Scorpio Sagittarius. Thank you guys for being here. We're doing tower spreads. So, goodness, I can't shovel. Well, you came out. Whatever. What changed? Four of Wands. Let's get the rest out before. That could be good or bad. That could be you losing a Four of Wands. That could you be gaining a Four of Wands. Let's see what the rest looks like. Um, so, how to live with it. Okay, one at a time, please. Hmm. Still kind of empty. What can be learned from this change? How to release emotions in a healthy way. Okay. With that one, I feel like this is, you lost something that was very precious to you, or somebody. Did I say someone? I thought I said something. I don't know, I'm losing my mind. Um, you lost someone who was very precious to you. Like, you had a very close relationship, and it was what you desired, it was what you wanted. It gave you structure, you thought you had stability there, and that's what changed. That it's not in your life anymore somehow. What can be learned is you need to focus on your happiness instead of being so defensive. You're, I'm hearing jealousy. And maybe I'm being a little too into that whole uh, Scorpio thing here, but um, jealousy and you're just swinging that sword because you're jealous. So... Well, that's how to live with it and move on. Um, what can we learn from this? Ace of Swords. You need... That's just saying, like... So you figured out what happened. You need to figure out what happened. You need to if you didn't. So... <laughs> you need to figure out what happened, what went wrong, because that's how you move... How, what uh, you can learn from this change. You need to learn everything that happened here because this is a big, this is a big change because how to release emotions in a healthy way, you got the world. Like, just know that this was meant to end and you, you have a new beginning here. Maybe you could even travel a little bit, but you had... You had what you desired. You had, you were very happy. And I kind of felt like you let your tongue get the best of you here. Or you let your worries get the best of you here. So, 
you need to reevaluate yourself here is kind of what I'm hearing, what I'm feeling. And take time to heal because I, I feel sad being in your energy. I feel really sad. So I wish you guys the best. I hope you heal. Um, I got to get out of your energy, though. Like, it's a little intense, a little too much. Um, but thank you guys for watching. I really wish you guys the best. And I hope you guys heal. Um, take the time and do what he needs to. Okay. Sagittarius Capricorn. Sagittarius Capricorn. Oh, I'm starting to feel lighter. What changed? Oh, we're doing your um, power spread. So what changed? Nine of Swords. Head's out of water now. Yeah. Yeah, you're not as anxious as you used to be. So how to live with it and move on will be fucking happy and shit. Stop being so scared. <laughs> don't, don't just like, yeah. Okay. Doesn't sound like Sagittarius or Capricorn, but I guess anyone can have anxiety. Um, what can we learn from this? You need to say how you feel instead of just sitting in the corner pissed off. <laughs> how to release these emotions in a healthy way. Quit blindfolding yourself and just saying it's okay. Like, it's going to be okay. Uh, just You're just letting it happen. You're just letting it happen. You're turning a blind eye. Stop doing that, okay? Stop <laughs> doing that. Why are you doing that for? Oh, okay. Capricorn Aquarius. That was a quick reading. Oh. Capricorn Aquarius. Thank you guys for being here. Appreciate it. Hopefully y'all are doing good. Let's see what uh, this is your tower spread. Let's see what's going on. Uh, what changed? What changed? Capricorn Aquarius. The fool. You got a new beginning there. New start. I'm excited about it. Um, how to live with it? Well, uh, shit. How to live? How do you live and move on from this new start? The devil. Don't let past toxicity eat you up. Don't bring it in to whatever you're starting here. Make sure you heal yourself. Make sure you don't just... You need to heal the past. You know what I mean? You need... You can't because you're... If you're not careful, you're just going to carry the toxicity with you no matter where you go, no matter how excited you are about this new start, you're going to keep carrying this toxicity with you. Um, you need to just sweep it away. Shit, I dropped like half my bed. <laughs> like, that's how much you need to get rid of. <laughs> um, what can be learned from this change? You're magical as fuck. Get grounded and with that world, just know some things are meant to end and enjoy the new beginning. It's fine. Like, it's okay. It's okay sometimes. I wouldn't just... Well, you know, whatever. Well, you know, I wouldn't just end things just because you got a little pissed off. You know, that, that seems a little unreasonable, but, you know, if it's meant to end, it's meant to end. So, uh, let's see how to release emotions in a healthy way. Shit. Y'all keep dropping on the floor. I don't know which one that is. There's three cards, and let's see. The world. Just enjoy your new beginning. Shit. <laughs> That's what that is. Just enjoy a new beginning. Okay, so last but not least, Aquarius Pisces, Gus. 
So, 59, 40. Well, y'all didn't hear him last but not least if you started here. So thank you guys for being here. This is the Aquarius Pisces, the last reading, not least. Um, whew. Okay, so we're doing tower spreads. Oh, shit. I went from new start, happy, and now I feel a little heavy-hearted again. Okay, well, whatever. Let's see what y'all are doing. These are tower spreads, so not all of them are going to be happy. And the tower, for God's sake. Okay, so. What changed, Aquarius Pisces? Excuse me. What changed? <laughs> Your knight in shining armor changed. Like, the passion changed. Your... Devotion to one person changed. You you just saw one thing that you were passionate about and that changed. How to live with it? The lost passion. Okay, that's second. Up. The higher thing. The higher fence about marriage. Okay. Clarify the higher fence. Please. On the how to live with it and move on. Okay. It's like you're wanting to explore your options for the serious commitment because you're not sure if you're wanting to have the serious commitment with this person or not. So what can be learned from this change? You feel like you can trade up here because <laughs> there's a ladder and it's climbing up. Chase your happiness, find your unicorn. How to release emotions in a healthy way. Five of Cups. Let me get one more card. Must be the Pisces and you're confusing me. But <laughs> okay. Just now. You might be deep in your emotions here, and it might, but you kind of need to get grounded there to get to where your growth potential is here with the King of Coins, where you get grounded, you get everything you need, and um, like you're good, and you have you're willing to share, but you're good on your own. But first, it's like. You're a little too deep in the water, you need to get grounded first. You're a little too deep in the emotions, you need to get grounded first. Which is weird, I usually tell, you're Aquarius Pisces, so like, what kind of fucking combination is that? One of them hides the feelings, the other feels the feelings. So are you feeling the feelings that Pisces fucking feels with the hiding of Aquarius? Like, that's intense. <laughs> the hiding and then blowing up of Aquarius? Because, damn. That's <laughs> all I got to say to that. But you need to get grounded. You need to ground your emotions. Is <laughs> That is really sticking out to me. You need to ground your emotions. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Thank you guys for watching. And have a great night.